Welcome traders to yet another weekly sectoral analysis. Today's weekly sectoral analysis is going to be extremely important because you have seen the way markets have fallen today. And uh, I believe that uh, with this particular correction which has happened today, it is not a correction which is happening only in the Indian markets. You even know that the American markets are coming down right now. And it is very, very important not just to concentrate on Nifty and Bank Nifty. I know majority of the traders do track Nifty, even if they trade in stocks. But as a positional trader, as a swing trader, it is extremely important that you know exactly which sector will start performing now, which will outperform now in the next few weeks or days, and which sector which was performing would possibly underperform in the next uh, few weeks or days. This is very important, all right? So I'll try to share in depth and to understand each and every sector, you will have to watch the video till the last. All right. So without any delay, let's start the educational video. So as usual, I'm going to start with uh, Nifty Futures monthly time frame chart. If you have a look in the monthly time frame chart, I think things are pretty OK. Uh, the Nifty Future is in an uptrend. There is no doubt about that. Only thing is that we do have a small uh, you can say shooting star, but that is okay. That doesn't suggest any major danger to, to the monthly chart as of now, all right? But if you check the weekly chart, things are slightly different. You can see price, it go up first, right? You can see price did rise and then came down. Again, it went up, again, it came down. So what is exactly happening? I would suggest that uh, I think in my previous educational video weekly sectoral analysis i had clearly mentioned that momentum will slow down momentum will slow down now people will understand that market has come down and momentum has increased on the downside what i was suggesting is momentum in the medium term the momentum of the market to continue higher so that momentum has come down market is consolidating or maybe correcting a little bit and that is completely all right People would be, you know, afraid why suddenly the market is coming down. Uh, just think about it. When the market was going up, did you ever complain why the market is going up? So we need to understand as traders that if you do not complain when market is going up, you should not even complain market is coming down. And to be very frank, in a matter of close to three months, we can clearly see that uh, Nifty has rise by close to 19% which is a really, really good rally, all right? Now, if you check in the weekly time frame chart, we have uh, broken this 23.6% retracement. We can also see a candle cluster over here. So if you check the daily time frame chart, we, are, we have already gone through a trend line breakdown. I'll just magnify this. We can see we have gone through a trend line breakdown. And it is this is a pretty good trend line breakdown. This particular low, which is around 17,240, 17,250, uh, does hold as an immediate support. Now, will we break this? Will we not break this? Only time will tell. And the immediate resistance could be 17,450. So in case if you have a bounce back on, say, Monday or Tuesday, because we had a very step uh, correction today, steep correction today on the downside, so in case if we do rise for a pullback or something, then we may hit this particular resistance at 17,450, 460. On the downside, as I said, 17,250 would be acting as an immediate support. If we close below this, and uh, we also need to understand at that point of time, we should not be oversold in the hourly time frame charts. If you're not oversold and if the momentum continues, then the next support could be somewhere around 17,052. 17,000 levels and this could be possible if we break 17,250. This is not very, very difficult for the market. All right. So we need to understand the overall trend in the medium term. I would say, uh, I would, uh, I mean, the daily chart is certainly down with support at 17,250. The trend in the longer term chart, which is the weekly time frame chart, is still up and we are trying to retrace in an uptrend. All right. Let's have a look at the bank nifty futures. Now, bank nifty futures also, if you see, if anyone is asking why this particular index is coming down, because this was one of the leaders in this current rally apart from FMCG. All right. 
Now, if you check properly, uh, in 91 days, Bank Nifty has gone up by 30%. 30%, which means 10% rise in a month. It is not a small deal. It's a very big rise. Now, according to me, this particular correction is absolutely welcome from my end. In fact, in my previous video also, I had mentioned that momentum slowdown will happen. I had given a small hint in my previous weekly sectoral analysis, the previous Friday. You can just go on my YouTube channel and you can check. Again, there was one more video which I had posted on my YouTube channel, Nifty Short Term View, a couple of days back, maybe three days back. On this particular day, I think it was 21st September. And the title was, Who Will Win? Bulls or Bears? And I would clearly mentioned that we had... a negative divergence coming up in RSI and the price and this was a sign of vanning momentum and you can see there were consistent you can say high wave candles and when these high wave candles are there it clearly seems that the market is highly overstretched which it was and uh, so due to that we can see there has been tremendous correction and uh, we have a shooting star we have a red candle closing below this shooting star this is absolutely a bearish pattern no doubts about that but is it a reversal? Uh, no, I don't think so. It is a reversal. Uh, but it, it is certainly that, that the prices are pretty away from the moving averages. Markets were overstretched. So we either would consolidate, spend time over there, moving averages would try to come near to the price or instead of that, we could have a crash. And I would say a crash is always better because it gets over very, very fast. And then after that, we can have a steady rise on the upside again. Now, talking of supports, uh, we are already at a support. You can see uh, you can see this 23.6% Fibonacci retracement over here is a support. And uh, this level is 39,600 levels. All right. Now, if you check in the daily time frame charts, these are the two previous highs in the weekly time frame, in the daily time frame chart. And this is coming at a juncture at 61 point. 80% retracement. So according to me, 39,600 to 39,450, the small band is going to act as a pretty strong support for bank nifty futures. If we bounce back, then we'll have to see what is the extent of bounce back because today's correction has been pretty strong. You can see bank nifty has corrected and it has underperformed nifty. Nifty has closed uh, just more than a one and a half percent down, but Bank Nifty has closed by close to two and a half percent down. So it is one of the worst outperformers in the sectoral indices after reality. All right. So if we bounce back, then we'll need to see what is the extent of bounce. All right. But I believe that bounce may not sustain. All right. It may not sustain. And then if you want to continue this correction on the downside, then we'll have to close below 39,000. 600 to 39,450. This entire band needs to be broken. And then we'll start seeing lower levels, which I'll keep updating, obviously, in my Nifty Short Term View, which I generally share on my YouTube channel in the weekdays, basically on the trading days. All right. Now, if we have a look at private bank and PSU banks, I think both of them, both of these indexes are looking in an uptrend in the weekly time frame chart and both of them are sharing signs that they were overstretched there was a shooting star then a big red candle in fact even psu banks are also showing the same and these are the uh, supports which may be hit lay, uh, later on when the uh, when the prices keep on correcting there is one stock which i have been looking which is axis bank axis bank is a stock which i believe uh, according to me, according to my analysis, yes, it might correct when entire market will correct. You know, it is very difficult to stand strong and, you know, not correct at all because even Axis Bank has gone up. So it might correct. But I believe in comparison to other stocks, in comparison to other private banking stocks, it could be probable that when the entire correction will come to an end, uh, a trader, a positional trader, a swing trader must first check Axis Bank. Because it might start showing you signs of revival a little bit before then other private banks. So I think this particular stock should be in your list. All right. But it's going to take time. It's not going to happen like this. It might take a few days or maybe even a few weeks. But I'm just sharing a hint with all of you. 
metal pack now metal pack has again you know uh, it has performed very well the way market has gone up right over here i had clearly shared my view that we should not go short and after that a very good uh, bounce back has happened in the metal pack now after this rise there was a small dip a small retracement and again the trend continued and only few stocks performed many stocks again in metal pack after the first leg of rally they could not perform now i believe if you see the weekly time frame chart we do have a shooting uh, shooting star we do have a red candle this red candle is not very powerful but due to the entire structure of the market right now which is it is correcting probably even metal pack will try to drift down a little bit lower it will try to consolidate it will try to come down but after coming down what it needs to be doing you can see over here i have marked the arrow which is for this low this low should not be broken i don't mind metal pack coming here here or maybe even here i do not mind till this part also this level also i don't mind at all this low should not be broken if this low breaks and we have a close a weekly close a daily or a weekly close below this then i think it will be little bit of a matter of a concern so if it comes down it is completely all right markets have gone up markets do come down again the markets have gone up again they will come down there is no problem but as far as it stays above this level and after this correction if we have a rise this rise should not be missed the reason for that is currently in the market sector rotation is happening we need to understand which sector might outperform which sector might underperform all right and there is a possibility that metal packs might start reviving slightly before then banking pack but this is going to take time and this is all if and but it's not that if i'm saying this it'll 101% happens no when metal pack comes down again we have to revisit the charts again we have to understand uh, what is the entire uh, you know stay a straight a state of trend of the entire market and then we come to a conclusion we build a view first and then we see is the price reacting according to our view if the answer is yes then we take the action if the answer is no we don't do anything we stay put now this is the sector auto pack auto pack has been outperforming in a very wonderful way according to me again same thing i would suggest in fact auto pack has been consolidating since 3 weeks you can see price is just fluctuating within a range which is visible over here it is within a range all right so i believe uh, one thing very clearly it might come down it might go up whatever happens let's hope that this particular low doesn't break all right you can see this low if this low breaks in case it's fine nothing bad will happen but then we'll have a further correction in the auto pack which will lead to 1.272 uh, percent extension of this entire small uptrend or maybe even 161.8 percent extension these levels might be tested and somewhere over here if you check in these in this entire band if i just move my crosshair over here this is the actual previous highs in the auto pack so this particular place is going to be a very fantastic support band for the auto pack so somewhere over here or maybe here wherever it drops and it consolidates then there will be a decent possibility of a uh you know price resuming its previous trend which was on the upside so this is the previous trend then it is consolidating if it corrects then the previous trend will be a trend which will start resuming but it will take time it's not going to happen just like this if i'm saying and it will happen on monday no it will take some time all right and according to me there will be two stocks which you need to be keeping watch on one is maruti already i can see maruti in such a bad market it is already outperforming uh, the way its weekly chart is looking the way its uh, monthly chart is shaping up it's looking very very good in fact even the daily chart is looking good so i think uh, swing traders positional traders must keep and watch on this particular stock and the next stock from my side is going to be ashok leyland Ashok Leyland currently is looking very strong in the weekly time frame chart in the daily time frame chart it is consolidating and swing traders must keep a watch after the consolidation whenever it gives a new breakout 
I think Ashok Leyland should not be pissed on the upside whenever it gives a breakout in the short term charts, not immediately. All right. IT pack. <clears throat> now, IT pack is actually in a mess right now. Yes, it is at a support. I completely understand. I do not deny that. In fact, if I just plot this Fibonacci, you can clearly see that we are at a decent support. And if we break this, then we will probably go at 50% retracement. But what I am trying to say is, in terms of weekly close, we are already on the fringe of making a new weekly low, probably next week, if we close below this low, which was on 11th July. Now, will this happen? Will this not happen? That is obviously not a matter of discussion. Whatever market decides, we'll have to accept it. So this low is broken, some more downside will be seen in IT pack, all right? And uh, due to the you know, rise of selling in the Dow Jones in the American markets, uh, IT is considerably underperforming right now. So that is a matter of concern and only time will tell us how the entire pack will actually move. <clears throat> Finance. Finance pack is one another sector which is looking very strong. Yes, you would be worried about these candles, but if you have a look in the monthly time frame chart, the sector is looking pretty decent. But only thing what has happened right now is there is some sort of resistance at this particular level you can see this is the first resistance this is also second resistance and we can see price could not surpass it and it's trying to retrace now how deep this retracement will be we frankly don't know because there was a very good trend line breakdown at times prices do retrace they come near to the trend line to test the strength of the trend line and from there they take a bounce now, if you if I just place my cursor over here, you can see it is exactly coming to this particular low. Now, this can actually be filled within a span of a day, the way this particular candle has come up. So how fast this particular level will come, we don't know. If it comes very fast, immediately start watching it because from here, what happens will be very important. If it starts bouncing, I think we could probably, uh, you know, have a short term bottom in place and after that we should go but only thing is it should not be breaking this low and i do not mean to buy over here please do not do this thing please do not buy at supports always understand first the price needs to come down then it needs to bounce and then if you have a trade in the shorter term charts only then you will go and place your orders and again also check in your trading system all right uh, one stock which I always track in the finance pack is obviously Bajaj Finance. Now, Bajaj Finance had given a breakout, obviously, in the daily time frame chart. You can see, yes, this was a breakout. But if you check the uh, weekly chart, there was a resistance over here. And obviously, the this particular high which I'm talking about. So it will need to surpass this high now in the daily chart with a weekly close, obviously this particular high, and then we will see some sort of upside happening. Overall, the stock is very strong, but this particular high needs to be taken off. And this is also a bearish candle. So this is something which we need to keep in our minds. All right. Pharma pack, I will not comment because overall it is just sideways, but there is one stock which I like as of now is Sun Pharma. The weekly and the daily chart, both of them are looking very good. Positional traders, swing traders, both of them should keep a watch on this stock for sure. It's looking very good. All right. Now, FMCG pack. This is going to be very important. When we generally talk about FMCG pack, generally people nowadays are trying to talk about ITC rather than anything. But uh, first, let's talk about the sector. As a sector, is it overstretched? Let's have a look at the weekly time frame chart. If you check probably for, properly, we do not have a negative divergence. All right. But RSI has 
almost entered in the overbought territory. Price is decently far away from the moving averages, not that much, but decently. Now, the leader in this pack is obviously ITC. Now, if you check ITC properly, ask yourself if you have not been able to participate in ITC in the FMCG pack, will you try and buy the stock at this particular level as a positional trader? I would not. The real price for buying ITC was somewhere over here. All right. So if you're a positional trader, obviously you will be following the trend and trailing your stop losses and stuff like that. That is perfectly all right. You should continue doing that because no one knows what's the high. But as a trader, you should also understand if banking is underperforming right now, if I if IT breaks the weekly low, which I was just talking about, which other sectors would try to support Nifty? Uh, there could be finance, uh, probably metal needs to come down a little bit and then after that we'll have to cross check even auto needs to be cross checked the reason for that is there is a little bit of consolidation and maybe a little bit of correction which could happen but if you check the fmcg pack there are few stocks especially hindustan unilever it has recently started performing as a trader i think it will need to surpass this level with a big green candle for some upsides. The second stock, which I believe is looking even better than uh, Hindustan Unilever is Britannia. It's a very volatile stock, so the timing has to be precise. Positional traders should have a look at this particular stock. And uh, there are a few more stocks. I think you can find out it is a stock like Nestle, Dabur. So what I'm trying to say is first only the ITC was going up and all of the stocks were probably not as good as ITC. But now probably even if ITC continues or doesn't continue, it's a different thing. We, will not, we are not going to buy ITC again for a positional trade until and unless we exit and enter new trade. But we need to think of other stocks also. All right. Reality pack. Reality pack is again one particular sector which I have been talking about it since long because there was a trend line breakout and after a big trend line breakout now you can see prices are coming down and in this particular uh, in this particular uh, sector it's not a state of trend where the prices are pretty far away from the moving averages still you can see the prices have come down and the, the reason for that is the previous high this particular high is providing resistance now what I believe, what I understand, generally speaking, as a trader, as a technical analyst, the lows, all right, you can see as per Dow theory, we do have a higher high and a higher low, all right. So generally speaking, uh, the every low, if the uptrend wants to continue, every low should be higher than the previous low and every high should be higher than the previous high. So the highs have been taken care of so far. So further. But if you check this particular time, the, this low is very close to the previous low. Generally, when this happens, it is a sign that the sector might consolidate. So there is a possibility that it could consolidate in the daily chart. If we break this low on closing basis, then the start of a new downtrend, downtrend may, ma, might happen. But we also need to understand that there is a support of this trend line right over here at 425. So will this breakout be a false breakout if it happens? Well, we frankly don't know because the weekly chart is generally, uh, you can say, more stronger than the daily time frame chart. As of now, I will not comment on the reality back because the way it has come down, it has been very surprising. But if it maintains its stance, if it maintains this entire range, it doesn't do any mischief. And if it consolidates and it starts, you know, going up again, probably this will also be a sector to keep watch on. All right. So do not leave the sector aside. But you will have to be very precise, very, very careful. Consumption pack. Consumption pack, I guess somewhere over here or here I had mentioned that a new 
strong uptrend might start. And after this, uh, in from July, in last two and a half months, there has been a pretty steep rise. And now, <clears throat> this weekend, we do have a sign that the uptrend is waning, which means the upside momentum is losing steam. This is not a sign of a top or something, but it is certainly a sign that the, the momentum is vanning. You can see higher highs in price, lower highs in RSI. And so we could also see in the weekly time frame chart also, right? So this is a sign the momentum is vanning. If you're holding any trades in the consumption pack, I'm not saying you should just exit and get out of the trades. Do be mentally ready, trail your stop losses. And in fact, if they get triggered, just get out of the trades and leave. Because this, partic this particular sector, I believe, needs a pretty decent consolidation, maybe even a short term profit booking spree. I would not be surprised if it happens. Now, how exactly it will happen? I think only time will tell. But a red candle over here, big red candle over here next week will probably, I think, make sure that the bears are getting control over this sector for next few weeks. All right. Mid caps. Now, mid caps, you can see uh, they have been able to surpass this previous high. So overall, as a sector, yes, they are looking very strong. We also have a trend line breakout in the weekly time frame chart. Now we can see some sort of price correction coming over here, some sort of short-term profit booking or a medium-term profit booking. This is a support. If this is broken, we'll have the next support getting tested, which is somewhere between this low of the candle and somewhere over here, where we have these moving averages, the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement or the trend line breakout. So somewhere over here, I think somewhere over here, even at the 38.2% retracement or somewhere in between, the entire mid cap pack will start looking attractive once again. So do keep a watch on this one. But for this level to come, this particular support, which is at 23.6% retracement, which needs to be broken. If this is not broken, if this doesn't get broken for a very long time, for a few days or maybe a couple of weeks, consolidation might continue. And after that, if we see an up move, we should start watching, should start looking for fresh new trades. But all these things are going to take time. Now, summing it up all, so far, I think banking was the outperformer. Now, banking might underperform for a few days to a few weeks. Uh, now, metal pack is something which you should keep watch on. Auto pack is something which you should keep watch on. And one more is FMCG. Now, FMCG is something where ITC is already performing. How far it will go? I think it's not a matter of discussion. All right. Some will, will tell maybe 10% higher. Someone will tell maybe 25% uh, higher. That's not a matter of discussion. Let it go. Let it rise. Just trail your stop losses. But try to find another few other stocks in FMCG pack also. And one another sector which I told you was Realty pack. Realty pack is a little bit tricky. I can understand. But if this setup works out, then I think we'll be able to pick Realty movement at a very decent trade because reality pack as an overall sector has always been volatile so the timing in that particular sector is extremely important all right so i hope this particular video has helped you to understand how markets will move in the coming days for short term moves in nifty bank nifty again i'll keep sharing my views in the nifty short term view educational videos in the weekdays till then take care and trade wisely thank you